<laughs> well, hello, everybody, and welcome to What's Cooking with Dr. Cook. We are having a wonderful show tonight with our wonderful chef, Lisa Green. Hello, chef. Hello. How are you? I am. I'm fantastic. How are you? I am fantastic as well. Yay. <laughs> and I'm so excited because tonight is chicken pozole night. Yes. Chicken soup. Yay. It's so chicken good. That's for the soul, right? Soup. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is the first time I will have ever made this. So, awesome. So, so this it's going to be delicious. Yes. Well, this is this is super funny. So I've actually told my coworkers about this earlier um, this week about how I was watching on the internet about how um, one of the you know, kind of like food, like celebrity chefs out there um, had made a pozole. So pozole is traditionally made with pork, of course. Mm -hmm. um, and she was getting kind of like roasted by some Hispanic mamas on the internet by, by her recipe because she was using like a canned beans and, and whatnot. Oh. And so I was thinking, I'm like, <laughs> this is going to be kind of funny because, you know, I'm, I'm really excited to make this recipe. I hope we don't get roasted. So this is a, this is a pozole inspired recipe. Yes. Sure. Yes. And it's a GERD friendly <laughs> pozole inspired recipe. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. This is Which not, is also, <laughs> it's, this is it's not the a, exact pozole that you're going to get in. <laughs> Like an authentic Mexican exactly. restaurant. <laughs> no, this is, no, just like with all the things that um, we cook on here, you know, they're all inspired from some region or, you know. So. Right, <laughs> right. And, and, and you actually were inspired um, by this res recipe by some place that you actually went and tasted an amazing mm -hmm. pozole. Mm -hmm. Yep, mm -hmm. just a local Mexican restaurant down the road. And I'd never had it before. And I ordered it and it came out in this big bowl, steeping hot with the, it was pork. So pulled pork and then the side dish of all these garnishes, the so radish, cilantro and tortillas. There might've been cotilla cheese on there, but I can't recall. But, and then you just put that on top as you're eating it. And I fell in love. <laughs> mm. Oh, so good. Absolutely. And um, and you did a little like background check on the actual origin of pozole itself too. I did. I did. There was a lot of just how how should I phrase this? Um, kind of scary, <laughs> scary um origins of this soup. Um, one article was saying that it was this sacrificial remains of people for that they did for the sacrifice to their gods. Um, so that kind of was like, oh, I'm not going to write that in the article. <laughs> <laughs> but for the most part, it's been a traditional soup for uh, centuries in Mexico. And the hominy is what makes it different, I would say. So and hominy is corn, but it's fermented. Right? Very cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I actually, I use hominy in my white chicken chili recipe and it oh. really just gives it like so much depth and just, yeah. oh, I love the flavor. it. Yeah, the flavor of hominy is really depth, in depth and, you know, it, it actually, it helps our, the, what they do to it, it's either lime or um, lye that they soak the corn in and it's field corn and it was used as, to preserve it um, before re refrigeration and it actually, from what I read, it helps our body absorb the nutrients and keeps the nutrients in the corn. So it, it's more, it's healthier or more nutrient nutrients than just basic sweet corn that you eat off Sweet the, corn, yeah, 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 yeah. And I love how how big it is too. I know yeah, it's just nice. It is kind big. of hard to find. Did you have a little trouble? So we actually. Um, I usually always find it like at least one type, but I know that the recipe called for a white and a yellow. Um, so my, my lovely husband went out to the store and um, we found, we found two different types. So we found like your, you know, your, your white, mm -hmm. your Blanco. Um, and then he found another brand, but we don't think it's 
we don't think it's yellow. We don't know. We're we're just going to go ahead and open it up and see what happens. So, I and know. stuff like that. That's just for aesthetic. That's just I don't know, me being fun. I mean, really, yeah. you know, two whites or two yellows, or it doesn't. It's not going to make or break the recipe. I've never seen um, yellow hominy, so I would be super psyched to come across that. I probably have to go to a you know Hispanic store. Oh, golden hominy. You know. Now that I see that, I think I probably have. Okay. Maybe I should have put huh. golden, but I don't know. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, I thought it was kind of like a meant to be thing because on the actual, you know, it says pizzole. So ah. It's like, oh, all right. We're meant right. to make it tonight. So. <laughs> all right. Well, we're going to kind of jump into it a little bit. We. Mm -hmm. We went ahead in one of the steps just so we could have a finished product for everybody here, but we're gonna go ahead and um, introduce you all to the ingredients and then tell you what we've done so we can get into it here. So yay, walk everybody over to the ingredients. <laughs> all right, here we go. How's that looking? Oh, there it is. There we are. Yeah, we there's a lot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so um, first ingredient, which we went ahead and jumped ahead and cooked, um, three pounds on the bone chicken thighs. Mm -hmm. So, which. Oh. And, you know, when it comes to if you had chicken legs, use chicken legs. If you prefer white meat, use white meat. It's just going to. The cooking time might be a little different. So. Right. And, you know, it really is true that when you're cooking the breasts in, you know, uh, some sort of, um, you know, liquid medium, it does help it to keep a lot of, you know, moisture, moisture. to it. But mm -hmm. oh, I tell you, those thighs are just. They're so flavorful and they really mm -hmm. just, you know, are, they're, they're just a lot they're, easier to retain that, that yes. mouth feel and that moisture to mm -hmm. them. So I'm, the fat. <laughs> yes, yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm excited <laughs> about this. So yes. I love cooking with thighs. I think they are fantastic. So I'm, I'm excited about this. Um, 32 ounces of chicken broth. We've got the two cans mm -hmm. of hominy, of course, the, the white, and if you can find the yellow. Uh, one four ounce can of mild chilies. Of course, this is optional. If chilies are a trigger for you, don't worry about it. Then we have a cup of chopped celery. I have already put that into my stock, so um, mm -hmm. I'm just showing you the celery to let you know that it is in fact in also, a teaspoon of fennel, the seeds. And we have a tablespoon of cumin seeds, which we have used so much on these different recipes. I'm going to have to replace this soon. I'm so excited. And we have a one half teaspoon of oregano and one half teaspoon of dried ginger. a quarter teaspoon of celery salt, one teaspoon of fresh grated ginger, salt and pepper, two chicken bouillon cubes, olive oil, radishes, two radishes, of course, for our garnish and cilantro, which we love. One lime. And then corn or flour tortillas, which I had some sturdy tacos nice. on hand. So that's what I'll be using today. So very excited about that. Um, but yeah, do you, do you kind of want to go over what we did uh, to kind of kick it off? Yeah. So... We first seared the chicken. We salt and peppered it in, in, in a soup stock pot. We added some oil, got it a little warm, and then we added the chicken thighs. 
being careful not to overcrowd the pan because otherwise it would just steam. And then you just sear them for probably about five, 10 minutes. And then you take them out and then you want to add the chopped celery, the cumin seeds and the fennel. If you need to add a little bit more oil, add a little bit more oil and then just saute those for a second and then pour the stock in and it's gonna sizzle. And then what you wanna do is kind of scrape the bottom of the pan to get all that bond off there because that's flavor from the chicken. And then you put the chicken back in on the bone and cook it till it's um, done 165 degrees. How long did yours take, Allie? So I just went ahead and did the 20 minutes because mm -hmm. because I know we're going to throw it back in now yep, for we are. Uh, you know a little bit more time, but mm -hmm. it you know it's it's looking pretty good. <laughs> yeah, mine's done. I think I did about 20 minutes, half an hour, uh, however long. So and then it's easier to pick the chicken when the chicken is hot. It kind of hurts the hands or it's, it burns a little bit, but it's definitely easier to do when before it gets cold. So now we're going to add it back to the back to the soup. Back to the yes, party. and we're including the skin and the bones as well. Oh, I already did that part. You didn't boil it? Oh, didn't no. You pick it? Yeah, so I picked, picked it, but I haven't put it back I haven't put it back in. Oh yeah, put that back in. You don't need all oh, the skin and the bones did it say oh for the flavoring. Should yes. Try then with either a knife or your hand, you know, phone that way around. Okay. Yep. That's right. I did do that. The funny thing is I was just saying that when I cook, I cook it different ways each time until I figure out the best way. But when I write the recipe, obviously I write it down what I'm doing and <laughs> it is the best way. This is the best way for flavor to put the skin and the chicken bones back in. It gives more depth to the broth, but in a pinch, okay. if you didn't want to do that, it's not necessary. It's okay, just another cool. flavor added level of flavor. So are we at this point we're throwing the hominy and the chilies in if you're using yeah. those and then the chicken too. All right, I'm yeah, gonna take I, everybody over to my pot. And I think like since it's been kinda hanging out for a minute, um it's got the it's got the little bit of chicken on it. Oops, yep. Take a look at that. Okay, cool. I did yep. I did put the bones back in as well. And All you might right. have to add a little bit more liquid, might have to add a little bit more water. Well, that was one of my questions about the um, bouillon cubes. So when do those come into play? Like when do, when I think I just added those? them. Just, I added those whenever. You can add them now. It's too give it more flavor because sometimes just the chicken stock that the carton doesn't have enough but it's all okay. and if you don't have bouillon cubes you can always use just a chicken base okay all right grab my can opener And this will go back up to a simmer on medium high. Yep. And then this isn't going to take long at all. Chicken already cooked. Oh, the seasonings. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and add chilies to mine. I did as well. Can you see that okay? Yeah. Okay. And now for the chicken, which I was really pleased with how much chicken came off of three pounds of thighs. Quite a bit. A whole lot.
Yeah, as soon as the spring comes up to a boil, we can let it simmer for, yeah, 20 more minutes. And then I'll have to ask your opinion go. if I need more water. Now, are we putting the yes. seasonings in now as well? Yes. Okay. Except for the ginger. I think that was last when it's pretty much done. The ginger, so the cook, add the spices, fresh ginger, and squeeze a wedge of lime at the very end. So the ginger and the wedge of lime at the very end. You can add the spices at the end or right now. I jumped the gun and added them right now. So. I'll go for it. Yeah. But the lime and the ginger will definitely wait on. Okay. And you think the bouillon cubes as well? Yes. Okay. Yeah, this might this might need some more water. Yes, it does need more water. Yeah. Okay. I'm not exactly sure how thick it should be. However, it's a it's a broth soup, so Okay. Whatever whatever you <laughs> want it to be. Whatever I want. Okay. I think that looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Chef? Uh, it looks great. Yeah, it all right. Really good. Yeah. Oh. I mean, you might want to add a little bit more water, but it's up to you. Maybe the next time that you, when you reheat it, you'll add more water. So. Oh, I can add it. I'll just add a little touch now. Oh, oh, you can't see. Oh, there you go. See, that's what, no, we're about the same. Yeah, there we go. All right. Now, are we covering this or leaving it uncovered? Uncovered. Okay. All right. Yeah. So now we will prepare some garnishes. Yeah. <laughs> cool. All right, so have you seen everybody doing the uh, cilantro tricks um, with the cheese graters on the internet? No, I haven't. Let me see if I have one close by so I can try it out. Aha. I haven't tried it. So apparently you take a... <laughs> take a piece of like cilantro you stick mm -hmm. it in here and then it's like a big deal because you pull it <laughs> oh that didn't oh work. well but the thing is is that the stems is where all the flavor is yeah i don't really have like i don't really and honestly Maybe this will work with this big old dude, but. Oh, okay. So it kind of worked. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, we want to keep the stems. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I tried it. It worked. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Now we know. All right. Okay. So while our soups are simmering, we're going to chops. And we do want to use the stem, so. Yes, yes, yep. And I'm just gonna use, I mean, only do enough for what you need for, to garnish for this particular. Well, it's just me tonight, so. Yeah. But I do love cilantro. All right. Beautiful.
I'm also excited about these radishes and we have a radish recipe coming up soon. Yes, we do. The roasted radishes. Yes. Those are so good. You know, I'm not sure if I've had roasted radishes before. No? I don't think so. Ooh, got really warm. All right, fan some on. Perfect. How's the weather down there in the Carolinas? <laughs> it's, it's um still not as warm as it usually is. Yeah, but it's sunny like today. Oh, 70s up there? Yes. Mm -hmm. Goodness gracious. Mm -hmm. Well, that's about normal, though, isn't it? Yeah. Well, no, it's usually a little warmer, I think, but it a feels warmer, good. warmer, yeah. Yeah. Oh. oh, the soup is starting to simmer. It smells so good. Check mine here. Oh, yes. So one thing that I found just a touch uh, challenging with um, the very beginning was making sure that the cumin seeds and the fennel seeds didn't burn in the oil. So I had to really move it, um, move them around, you know, to make sure that yes. they, they weren't. <laughs> yes, that's, yeah, that's typical with all the cooking of the seeds and that's for sure. But, you know, when you toast them, it does bring that other level of flavor, too. Oh, so. yeah. No, it smelled amazing. All right. Thinly slicing the radishes. Do you, do you cut your radish in half and then slice it? Uh, depends. I didn't this time. I didn't at all. It depends uh, how big they are. It depends. Uh, I guess it depends on. Sorry, I gotta wipe off some of the sweat. <laughs> <laughs> it gets a little. I'm gonna warm. do that. <laughs> I'm gonna cut mm. it in half and do that because it's it's a little easier with my <laughs> knife <laughs> to do it <laughs> than holding the whole the whole one. I don't want to cut my finger. Yeah, and you're using a baby knife. What are you using? A paring knife. Uh, probably. No. <laughs> it's pretty. <laughs> it's pretty. <laughs> it is pretty. It is pretty. My pretty knife. Yeah, it's what I, I love about this recipe, too, is that, um, you know, we've really discovered that those cumin seed and the fennel seed combination is you know, a great substitute for garlic. Yes. Yes. That is my go-to substitute. Yes, oh. it is. A, it gives it that nice bite and it's really good. Yes, it Just is. Just like with that wonderful curry rub that we have made. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. But you have the um, trio of wings recipe coming out here. In um, a couple weeks, yeah, and that was that was so much fun with the curry rub and the carrot ginger sauce and the arugula pesto. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness! And the um, the cucumber Greek yogurt dipping sauce. Oh my goodness! There was so much to to that wonderful <laughs> recipe. It is just so much joyfulness, perfect for the summer. Yes, yes, it is. Oh, and you can use that pesto in a pasta, and that carrot ginger. If you had, you could turn that into the carrot ginger soup. You could. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I'm trying to think of what my youngest did with the the pesto sauce. She was using it for something. Um, out of out of the realm of the actual recipe but now i can't remember what it is i'll have to i'll have to check again i think i'll go ahead and cut my lime 
Yeah, I did that as well. Mmm, it smells so good. We probably did have time to do it all. Yeah, we probably did. Oh. Dude, I'll be right back. Here we are. We'll go take a look at the pozole here and see how it's measuring up. Thought I heard something. Ooh, look at those lines. Oh, yeah, it's the recipe. The recipe, it doesn't take long at all. Not at all. I'm gonna start removing the bones, taking off some more of the chicken off of them. But I mean, right. honestly, this soup's pretty done. It smells good. So easy. How many ingredients is in here? Oh goodness. Not many. No, I mean. Chicken. Stock. Chicken, broth, the hominy. The optional chilies, celery, fennel seeds, cumin seeds, oregano, dried ginger, celery salt, grated ginger, salt and pepper, the bouillon cubes, mm -hmm. olive oil, and then so, yeah, the garnishes. <laughs> I guess well, I'm I mean, thinking of like the main. Yeah. The actual <laughs> seasoning, sure, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. But um, the... You know, and then you have the garnishes, the radishes, uh, the cilantro, and, um, you know, the lime. So, so I should remove the bones. Yeah, and then I'm going to garnish with some ginger. Or, you know, add the ginger. And that, but yeah, it's pretty done. Did not take, oh, I think I know why I did the 20 minutes before, because I didn't cook the chicken all the way. And it's all relative. It's all like how far along the chicken was. My chicken was cooked all the way through. So yours look pretty cooked too. So lamb. Oh, where'd you go? Like I'm going to take my skin out too. Yes. That one might, you know, you might be doing that for a little while. Well, I actually got the pieces out, like, <laughs> in huge chunks, like all of them on all four. So that was easy for me. And almost, I, I mean, with a little bit of start. So, the, yeah, this soup takes about an hour, which is not yeah. bad at all. And I like a lot of ginger, so I added that and the lime. I just grated the ginger right on top, and voila. I gotta find one more leg. Where are you at? Aha, found you. All right. Since I'm a little behind you, so ginger and the lime. lime. Yeah, okay. and that's it. That is it. Um, ginger. Lime. 
I feel like mine's really hot right now. I should probably turn yeah. it off. I turned <laughs> off the burner. Yeah, I turned it off. For sure. Can't get a lot of juice out of that. I'm going to get one more. Okay. So do you heat up your tortillas? Not yet. I'm actually going to use the stove for that. Since I have a gas stove, I'm going to. Oh. Go like this. Oh, you froze. I don't know oh, no. Froze. Yeah, that's yeah the... I just kind of go like that right on the gas stove. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. Yeah. And okay. then it gets a nice little, oh. like that. Perfect. There we go. Yeah, it's wonderful. <laughs> Heat it up. All right, I'm going to take you back here. I am actually going to throw mine in the microwave. Cause... Right? Because <laughs> that's okay. Yes, it is. And then I'm going to portion out into a little bowl. Yeah, that's it. There's the soup. That's the soup and then garnish. Yeah, they're neat. Wow. I'm excited to try it. It's going to be hot. It is going to be hot. Yeah. Yeah, I got the little plate, the garnish. Oh. Mm. Oh, the plate with the garnish. <laughs> we are, yep. I put plate. it in the bowl. I'm going to. Or yeah, okay. I'm gonna and there we go. I'm ready when you are. Let me see here. Mmm. Smell that. I mean it's just so All right. Fragrant yes. and beautiful. Oh, there we go. Yay. <laughs> cheers. Okay, cheers. All right. All right. It's hot. So I'll bring this over. And you just put your tortillas right in your soup. Uh-huh. Oh. Like bread. Well, in that case. Damn. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is. You haven't had a bite yet. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming. Oh, I'm coming. Give this a try. Ooh, that's hot. <laughs> yeah, very excited. Very excited for this. Okay. Take off my apron. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I'll cheers again. It's so good. And the tortilla, it soaks up that chicken stock and everything. So good. You get the like bite of the fresh of the. Mm. <laughs> Listen to me. Mm -hmm. Isn't mm. that? Yeah, right? So. Mm. And you know, when it goes comes to people giving people, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Grief about making their own recipe out of traditionals, they should feel flattered that we want to use um, cultures, different traditional recipes and uh, make it so other people can eat them. Mm -hmm. You know, with people with food sensitivities or, or anything for that matter, you know, it should be you know, flattered. Like, oh, they, they're using our tradition. Look at that. They... <laughs> yeah, no, this is delicious. It's so fresh and it's light. I love it. 
I would eat this all year too. I mean, it's just it's so good. It's just so good. Yeah. And it's like a it's chicken soup. Chicken and vegetable soup for the most part. Just with different flavorings. Yeah. Yeah. Next time the, I'm gonna make the it broth with is so good. <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, I, I love it with the chicken because I don't eat pork, but mm. except for bacon. Right. <sighs> well, mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. yeah, it's good. Mm -hmm. It is good. Oh, what a show. I enjoyed it. Yeah, at first I thought maybe it was going to have like a – a similar resemblance to the white chicken chili I make. It's completely different. Mm -hmm. It is wonderful. I I think this would probably actually, you know, freeze well because I'm always looking for freezer soups. You know, it would yeah. freeze well. Yeah, yeah, it sure would. Because oh, I mean, none of the fresh garnish is is in it. So and yeah. When I made this the first time for the recipe, I obviously I made a lot. I turned it into chicken noodle soup, I think, a couple days later. I think mm -hmm. I added noodles to it and carrots. I had carrots and some noodles just to change it up a little bit, you know, because sometimes you get well, little yeah. leftovers. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of excited to dip into the tortilla. I haven't tried the tortilla with it yet. Oh so. gosh, I got my little taste tester down there, Greta. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Here you go, sweetie. Oh, good girl. Oh, that's She's super so good. good. Isn't it? Oh, you had the yeah. corn. See, I did. Yeah, I had flour today. This is really. It was really easy to make. Um, I think I told you, uh, actually, I sent Chef a, a little message when I was first making it that the the only thing that surprised me about it was it's the first time I had actually, like, seared chicken thighs. So it, it kind of surprised me when when they were dancing a little bit, like, you know, when it kind of, like, popped back up a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah. And um, so I was like, oh, wow. Like, <laughs> you know, I don't know if I have the skills to do this with short sleeves on. But but I did it. Good. I also think I need some tougher tongs. Mm. <laughs> My little rubber ones are. No, um, you need. That's what I need. Exactly what I need. Oh, these uh, are the perfect frying ones because they're long and they don't yes. have that thing that makes them stick. I hate that. They that's exactly it. Loose. <laughs> <laughs> Ask any chef, yes. and you got to do the tong test. Every time you get a pair of tongs. <laughs> yeah. And that's what it was because those were slippery and I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> you know. The thighs, you know, they're <laughs> they're a little rough when you're trying to get that. I'm like, well, I want the little brown pieces at the bottom like she's talking about. The fond. The fond. <laughs> the fond. The fond, yes. So that that's flavor. Fond equals flavor. <laughs> yes, fond equals flavor. And this is super flavorful. I'm so excited. Um Fantastic recipe as always. So, yay. 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 Hope everybody enjoys this. Um, look for the recipe on foodguides.com and look for all of Chef's other amazing, wonderful recipes at foodguides.com. Just hit the contributors tab of the site and go to Lisa Green and just explore all of the wonderful recipes that she has created and we have our videos up there too as well as our youtube channel at food guides health so yes wonderful right. guess we're ending we early roasted radishes coming up yes. soon yes I, it's a good thing we're ending early because i've been like doing the pee dance for a minute oh yeah no, there we go <laughs> all right love yes. you girl yes everybody have a great night yes. see you soon <laughs>